Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I really appreciate your time. Uh, I've got a cool holster to show you today. Um, if you recall, uh, not too long ago, I did a review for this. This is the uh, holster by Wicked Holsters, which is a local company here in Massachusetts, owned and operated by a combat veteran. And it's an inside the waistband holster, as you can see, with a minimalist design. Check out the review here uh, for information on this holster. It's an excellent option for those of you looking for an inside the waistband holster that makes your your gun extremely concealable. But Wicked Holsters has just released a new product and I wanna be the first to show it to you. Now the new product is an outside the waistband holster and I think this one's pretty cool because it's gonna to adapt to whatever belt you're wearing. Um, most holsters are made for whether it's a one and quarter inch, one and a half inch, one and three quarter inch belt loop, um, depending on what you're wearing and it's kind of stuck for that size. Uh, well, what Wicked Holsters has done with this bad boy here as you can see, it's generally the same uh, styling as the inside the waistband holster, but on the back, let me get you a close up here. What they've done here on the back is they've utilized the Blade Tech adjustable loop. And you can see here has a, a crossbar and these notches here, you can pop this crossbar off and adjust it to whatever size belt that you're wearing. That's exactly what I find most attractive about this holster is that it's gonna fit any belt that you have, whether uh, it's a big thick gun leather belt, or a smaller type uh, canvas or weave belt, or even some of those black ballistic nylons. It's gonna fit everything you have. And uh, I wanna show you how easy it is to adjust as well. But first, let me uh, take my glug out. Now on the back here, I'm gonna to try to do this on camera at the same time as I do it and watch what I'm doing, so bear with me. This little uh, adjustable bar here, it's made to be adjusted pretty easily. It's just a little knife and Put a little, there's a little bit of a, a gap underneath here where the screw area is, and you just pop it up. And when you pop those tabs out, this is what you got. Put my, my samurai sword away. Okay, here's a look at the uh, numerous adjustments that you can make, and those holes are where those tabs go into. And uh, it all locks together pretty tight. I did some uh, retention drills, and it didn't give away. It didn't give away. It didn't break or nothing. And I, it's, it seems like it, it's a well thought up design. Um, but it's pretty easy. You just pop it off like I showed you and it'll go all the way up to a two inch belt. And to uh, replace it is pretty easy. You figure out where you want to put it. Let's see if I can do this away from me while looking through the viewfinder here. Bear with me. You line it up where you want here and just push the uh, locking tab in. Okay, you just get the tabs, if you can see that here, get the tabs started where you want it. Make sure the corners are underneath uh, the, uh, the belt loop here so that it actually holds the belt. And just pop them in. And just like that, they lock in pretty snug. And again, here's a closer look of it, of the system. Um, I do not expect you to wear it with a belt that small, but it does adjust um, that small for a reason. It's not to put your belt up here, it's to put the belt down here so that you can adjust your ride higher. Um, that's also something that should be noted. Um, you're not relegated to one location. This is going to work in uh, what looks, appears to be a mid-ride and a high-ride, depending on the belt size that you wear. Um, so if you just want the mid-ride, you're going to wear your belt on the upper part and adjust the bar uh, to wherever it is on the lower portion and vice versa, if you want a high ride, you're gonna set it up just like here, where your belt sits lower, thus the holster sits higher up. It's a pretty cool system. Um, it's Blade Tech, it's been around for a while, it's a, it's a big company, um, a lot of people know about it, and Wicked Holsters has incorporated that into their outside the waistband holster. Here's a look from the side, and uh, one thing I wanna mention, when I took this out to the range, I used it with a, a couple different setups, and what I mean by that is I used it both with uh, without any body armor, just a regular t-shirt tucked in. I used it with a t-shirt loose, so to see if it was going to get caught up and tangled. Um, I used it with soft body armor, and I used it with hard body armor, with plate, rifle plate. And uh, one thing that I was impressed with is it worked in all of those conditions. Now, if you re wear a really big or long t-shirt, and you're doing drills, naturally it could get caught in your holster. Um, that goes without saying. But if you do tuck your your uh, your t-shirt behind the sweat guard here it had no problems i ran it smooth and uh, it, it was impressive 
Uh, the, the biggest thing that I was really, really impressed with is it sits, when you wear, wear it on your, uh, your duty belt or whatever, your, your gun belt, and you're out to the range, it sits just far enough off your body, as you can see here, get my big lug out of the way, uh, it sits just far enough off the body, about uh, half to three quarters of an inch, that it doesn't get caught up in your gear. Um, I wore it with, like I said, my, my rifle plate armor, and it didn't get caught up on my carrier. And uh, that is something that uh, is a big, big concern with a lot of people who wear a belt holster for their rig. Uh, a lot of people have switched to drop leg holsters for that reason. So if you don't have uh, a holster that's an outside the waistband and you're looking for a fantastic range holster, uh, or even just a duty holster for a, uh, like a non-police rig, um, something that you're just going to throw on real quick and you need something to, to be your companion, this is going to work. Uh, you can see, just like uh, the previous version, it's got a simplistic uh, type design, has two retention screws so you can really set it as hard as you want to lock your gun in or as loose as you want to uh, facilitate a smooth draw. It's just a well-made holster and it does what you need it to do. Um, it's quick, there were no hang-ups when I was drawing. Um, it's cut just a little bit different. Let me get the uh, the other holster here. If you do uh, have one of the holsters and you're going to switch or, or buy uh, the second one, um, and if you match them, it is, you can see here, it is a very similar design, almost identical, except obviously the cut. Let me see if we can get the, uh, the bottoms lined up here. Okay, so the cuts are about the same. They're just slightly different. As you can see, uh, let me bring it closer. Now if I try to line them up, you can see one is cut a little bit higher, and that's just to facilitate the actual the mounting system for the blade tech. But uh, made no no noticeable difference at all. It was very smooth. It was very comfortable. Um, awesome, awesome idea by incorporating that blade tech adjustable loop. So give them a call. I'll have the number on the screen here. I'll have the number in the description. I'll have their website as well in the description. It's wickedholsters.com. Give them a call, check this holster out. You're not gonna be upset that you did. Thank you for watching. This is Jared from Guns and Gadgets. I really appreciate your time. Until the next one, uh, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a weapon. Take care.